Hi everyone. Let's do a third party reading because I've been feeling that energy in the air the past couple weeks or so. It seems to be a pretty big collective theme at the moment. So let's see what's going on with that. Only take this if it resonates. It may or may not be your energy group. So what's the what's the story here? What's the third party story here? I do want to say too, I'm not encouraging anyone to stay in a third party situation. Like if someone chooses someone else over you, I would say let them. You know, you want somebody that doesn't just see you as an option, but sees you as, you know, their main choice. They don't you don't want somebody that wants other people, you know. The hermit, the chariot, the four of pentacles. The High Priestess. This is someone who definitely wants to keep this secret from you, but you already know. It's like with the Four of Pentacles here, it's like someone holding this information closely. Someone trying to keep this a secret. You already know, though. You're the High Priestess. You're very intuitive. You know what's going on. And that's part of why you're in this Queen of Swords energy. You're not trusting this person. Because you could feel that energy of, even if there wasn't actually a third party, you could still feel that kind of casual, nonchalant energy, that kind of take it or leave it energy, just, just not really feeling appreciated, just feeling very taken for granted by this person. So you kind of got that, that feeling from them that even if they're not talking to someone else, it's like you could still sort of just tell that they wanted to explore their other options, that they wanted to stay open. They didn't really want to give you any kind of commitment. You know, this person maybe wanted to see what else is out there, even if they were, you know, weren't dealing with anybody, that you could still tell that they wanted to. You could still tell that there wasn't really that loyalty there on their end. You know, something just felt off. And you're trusting your intuition. You're not letting this person manipulate you. You're trusting your intuition with this. Because someone who really loves you is going to commit. They're not, someone that really loves you is not going to risk losing you. They're not going to put themselves in a position to lose you. Somebody who truly genuinely loves you is not going to need to go see what else is out there and, you know, play the field and explore their options and see if something better comes along. You know, someone who truly loves you is going to see you as this high priestess. They're going to know that you're the entire package. They're not going to be confused. They're not, they're not going to sit on this. They're not going to be on the fence if they're really that in love with you. But anyway, yeah, for this person, it, it, it's like with the four of pentacles, it's like you, you know this, but they don't want you to know this. They're, this person's never going to admit to this, whatever this is. Let's see. We got the hermit, the chariot. Tell me more about this. The empress. The sun. Two of Swords, the Moon, the Eight of Pentacles. This person might be a bit intimidated by how intuitive you are. They they know that you're the High Priestess. Tell me more about the Hermit and the Chariot. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles. They wanted you to do all the work. Three of Wands is somebody that's waiting for their ships to sail in. Six of Pentacles can be, it's like not a mutual give and take. You see someone is breadcrumbing somebody here. King of Swords is usually a good card. I mean, it can be a good card, but it can also be somebody who's kind of stubborn, kind of set in their ways, head over heart, somebody that doesn't really, um, isn't really very in touch with their emotions. What I'm feeling here, let me tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. Just bear with me, guys. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like with this High Priestess, 
I feel like they, they know that it would be a lot of work. They know that it would require effort. I feel like this high priestess kind of sees through them. She's she's not she's very confident. She doesn't accept breadcrumbing. She maybe calls this person out on their shit. Like she she doesn't she doesn't deal with being neglected. She doesn't deal with being someone's second choice. She doesn't deal with neglect. She doesn't deal with mental abuse. She doesn't deal with with gaslighting or manipulative behavior or hot and cold behavior. Someone just coming in and out whenever they're bored and lonely and, you know, don't have any other options. Like she's she's not dealing with that. And I feel like this person, um, it's like nine of wands can be like a, a like a battle. And I almost see like this this man kind of walking away from this woman in the past, at least. Because I feel like he, I, f I feel like he, um, let's see, because we have nine of pentacles, like abundant, like this is somebody who's like single and abundant too. I feel like he just knew that she, she wouldn't deal with this. I think this man is kind of used to dealing with more insecure women. And I think when a woman is confident and she knows what, what she deserves, I feel like this man almost tries to make her out to be dramatic or jealous or crazy it's, it's almost like this man is used to being able to breadcrumb people he's used to being able to give women like the bare minimum or just not treating people well not taking accountability um we will get into a reading for those of you that are in that energy group where your masculine is taking accountability because remember like i was saying there's two there's there was one main energy group and it's split into two so the, this is for the group of masculines that they're not taking accountability they're going through bad karma because of that, because they want to run. They, they, they're they being forced by the divine to face themselves now. Um, if they don't like that, they're trying to distract themselves, but it's not going to work. This person's on their way to hitting rock bottom. If they continue up the state, if they continue, you know, trying to one up people, trying to manipulate people, making excuses for themselves, just the same, same kind of behavior, then yeah, this person is, is there, we did a reading on that recently, their bad karma is going to get worse. But for the other group where, you know, your masculine is taking accountability, and he is actually going to like work on himself and step up and, you know, make apologies to people and really, you know, try to do the healing work, at least starting to make attempts to do that. Instead of just blaming other people or being in a victim mentality, you know, that group of masculines is at least going to start trying to heal and trying to be the person they want to be and their spirit guides will support them through that. I'll do another reading soon for that for that group. But anyway, this is for those of you that are dealing with one of those masculines where it's like they're not taking accountability. Um, yeah, with this third party energy, what I'm feeling here is I feel like this masculine is not used to dealing with somebody that has your kind of your intuition, your confidence, your free spirit. Um, I feel like this masculine has control issues. It's almost like it's it's like the illusion of control. They they want to feel like they're in control even when they're not. And um, I almost feel like in the past, this masculine kind of walked away from you and told themselves that you know, you're just dramatic or you're just jealous and maybe there's something better out there. Maybe that Ace of Cups is, is you know, out there with somebody else instead. They basically just didn't want to do the work. They, they didn't want to step up. They didn't want to, it's like you're the empress. They didn't want to step up and be the emperor and, and put the work into being the emperor. They would rather be in a more submissive kind of energy. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's I'm kind of what I'm getting. They'd, they'd rather be in a more submissive energy. They didn't want to have to take, they didn't want to have to step up and be in this dominant energy and really take control of their lives and in the right ways and, and take accountability and, and do the work. So yeah, anyway, what I'm getting here is I feel like they walked away in the past because, you know, because because of that, because of, of your intuition, because of you know, the, the effort, the, the work it would take to, to step up and meet you at your level, you know, being with you, it's like, you can kind of see through this person. So that kind of pushes them to better themselves. That pushes them to take accountability that, that pushes them to, you know, get on a higher path to really grow and evolve with you as your partner, as your equal. But, you know, for this group, it's like, they didn't, they didn't answer that call. They were, you know, this person's a big scaredy cat. They were too scared. They were too prideful, too egotistical. So I feel like, I really feel like this, this, for this group of masculines, it's almost like they, 
like I said, it's like they're used to dealing with insecure women. So I feel like they, I really feel like they just kind of told themselves that, you know, you were just dramatic or, you know, you're just jealous. I'm just going to go see what else is out there. Maybe there's someone, it's like they didn't, they didn't see their role in things. You know what I mean? This is someone that just like kind of hypocritical energy where they, they only, they only think about their feelings. They only really think about themselves. They didn't really see their role in things. They didn't really see what energy they presented that made you have to become this queen of swords with them and have to protect yourself because, you know, you felt like you could no longer, it's like you felt like you couldn't really be safe being emotional and vulnerable and expressive with this person. You know, they would just use that to their advantage. They would just take it for granted. They, they would, this person exploits people's vulnerabilities. They exploit people's emotions. Um, but yeah, it's like, sorry, I, I keep, I keep getting all these different energies, but let me, let me stay focused here. But yeah, anyway, what I'm seeing here is like, in the, cause we, we want to do a third party reading. So let's get to that. This is the energy I'm, it's leading there. Just give me a second guys. <laughs> but anyway, what I see is like this person, yeah, this person walked away in the past and instead of taking accountability, it's like, they just blamed you. They just projected onto you. They didn't want to deal with themselves. They didn't want to look in the mirror. They didn't want to deal with their insecurities, their traumas. They just, it, it's like this person probably just tells themselves, yeah, these, all these women just happen to be dramatic or jealous or crazy or this or that. And they told themselves that with you is what I'm feeling here. They, they didn't, they didn't want to step up. So they basically wanted to go see what else was out there. They wanted to see if there was something, you know, easier out there pretty much is what I'm feeling. I think they kind of had it in their head too that if they they found someone who wasn't as confident as you, somebody who wasn't as intuitive with you as you, like if they kind of went back to that pattern of like dating a certain type of woman or like dating insecure women, I think like it might not have been like a conscious process, but I think to some degree it's like they kind of had it in their head that it would be like confirmation so that they wouldn't have to deal with themselves. You know what I mean? Like let's say that they, they went to somebody else and this woman let them breadcrumb them. This woman let them be emotionally unavailable with them. This woman let them, you know, come in and out whenever they pleased and maybe mess around with third parties and do whatever. Then they'd be able to say, see, like this, this other woman, this queen of swords, this empress was just dramatic and crazy. See, most women will allow this. Most women are okay with this energy. Like you see, it's, it's just, it was just this one woman that was, you know, dramatic or, or whatever, you know, like see my behavior. It's like, they were like trying to seek validation from other people. Like they wanted to they wanted that valid, that ego boost. They wanted that validation that their toxic behaviors and pushing people away and neglecting other people and, and not considering other people's feelings. They wanted that validation and that those kind of behaviors are okay. So they wanted, it's, it's again, not maybe probably not a conscious process, but yeah, they wanted to go find someone who was insecure, who would deal with all of that so that they could tell themselves that their behavior is acceptable. Like, see, oh, this woman, you know, is this woman doesn't want me to better myself. This woman doesn't, you know, she's okay with this. She's okay with the breadcrumbing. She's okay with, you know, come, me coming in and out. Like, so, you know, it, like in their mind, in their, in their mind, it's almost like that would be confirmation that this other woman was just, uh, just jealous and dramatic. Yeah. It's so weird. It's sad too, because they could have had everything with this empress. This empress was like a light in their life. This woman would have helped them evolve and become the emperor. She didn't expect this man to do it on his own. She actually would have helped him, but he blocked it. He is the one that, you know, she's just standing in her power. She's not the one that rejected him. He's the one that walked away. He's the one that rejected her. It's so strange, but with this man, it almost like with this group of masculines, it's almost like they... I don't know if entitlement is the right word, but it's it's almost like they'll push you away and treat you like garbage. And then if you don't deal with that, they'll play the victim and act like you just rejected them and like you're the one that pushed them away just because you're being the empress and you're in your power and you're not allowing that energy in your life. It's like, no, they did this to themselves. You you didn't you didn't block them. They're the ones that are energetically blocking you. Like they're the ones that are doing this to themselves. 
you know, because they could come back correctly. And a lot of you would probably, if they were stepping up, a lot of you would probably give them another chance. You'd probably give them one last chance if they came forward correctly. But anyway, let's get more into this. Um, I'm also getting another message from this. I feel like... Tell me, tell me about this third party. I almost feel like they temporarily... Because it's like they, this person, you can't trust this person to be loyal. They're always going to want the next best thing. They're always going to be distracted. And I feel like this person really wants what they can't have. Um, I don't feel like this empress is like that. I feel like she's confident and she knows what she deserves. But I feel like with the, these group of masculines, it's like they are insecure. And so I think they just kind of want what they can't have. So if, if somebody sees potential in them or if someone supports them and loves them they're going to hurt that person they're going to push that person away but subconsciously if they meet women that are going to treat them like garbage those are the kind of women they're going to open their heart to those are the kind of women that they're going to resonate with i'm getting a message here too that they met someone or they're going to meet someone that they're it's almost like they're going to see them as like an empress but it's a false empress they're not actually the empress there's going to be something hidden here behind the scenes, but this mask is going to be like working towards it because it's like self-sabotage. You know what I mean? Like he could have had this woman that's actually an empress, like the viewers, like, you know, he could have actually had everything like happiness, home, marriage, true love, like everything, everything with this woman, with this other woman, it almost with this third party karmic. It's almost like there's like the illusion of that. It's like almost like on a subconscious level, level it, it's like he knows that these women there's nothing real with them there so that's what allows him to like open up to them tell me more about this karmic situation but yeah that's basically what i'm getting it's almost like this masculine it's like like again just wanted to find something easier i wanted to see if the grass is greener on the other side And he's going to have bad karma for it, for trying to play these games. You don't play those kind of games with an empress. You don't put an empress on hold while you go and see if there's something easier or something better out there. Or you go play the field and, you know, come back to her when you feel bored and lonely. You do not do that shit with an empress. Her spirit guides will fuck your life up. And this man is going to hit rock bottom. He's going to have some pretty horrible karma for this. I also want to say not only that, but with these women, they're also going to call him out. He's he's right now. I feel like these masculines are kind of panicking, like they're feeling anxiety. They're feeling they're upset. Um, they, they don't want to deal with themselves. Many of them, the divine is forcing them to be alone. They're they're being blocked um, just in general and in, in multiple areas of their life. They're being blocked um, financially, emotionally, like mentally. They're, they have all these blocks that. It's, it's almost like being put on timeout where their spirit guides are like, nah, you're going to deal with yourself now. The more you fight it, the more you try to manipulate your way out of this, the more you try to, you can't manipulate spirit guides and you can't manipulate the high priestess. You can't, you can't one up a high priestess or an empress. You can't one up the spirit guides that are around you. Like not everything in life is some kind of fucking competition. You know what I mean? Like this is the, you, you don't play with an empress's heart like that. You know, because this empress was genuine. She just had genuine love for this man. Genuine support, genuine love. She didn't She didn't see it as a game. She just really loved him and just genuinely just wanted to be with him. Like, all she really wanted was him. And this, this, this group of masculines, it's like they saw it as some kind of fucking game that they had to win. Very manipulative energy. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, where was I with that? Sorry, sometimes when I channel, it's like it all comes through at once. So I got to like backtrack a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're hitting rock bottom. Oh, what I was saying too is I, I feel like... I feel like they were under that illusion that it was going to... They were going to get that ego boost or it was going to be easier with a third party. And I actually think it's just, you know, like I said, the, their spirit guides are forcing them to be alone and face themselves. So if they are, I feel like they're really trying to distract themselves any way they can right now. But I feel like they're going to be met with more drama. Like if they are talking to third parties, like it's going to blow up in their face. They're going to deal with more 
drama from these third parties, more rejection. They're going to seek this ego boost and seek this validation that their toxic manipulative behaviors are okay. And they're not going to get that from these third parties. They're, they might have that illusion of that for like a couple weeks or so, and then it's going to blow up in their face. And these third parties are going to cut them out or they're going to call them out. Um, in, in one of the last readings we did, I was getting this energy of almost like the divine is going to let, it's going to go ahead and let them pursue another third party. It's going to be like that shiny new toy that they're going to want to go play with. And right when this masculine starts really opening his heart up to this person, like once it's, it's almost like this glamorous energy I was getting from her. And once he starts opening his heart up, it's like that rug is going to be ripped out from under him where she's going to reject him. She's going to see through him. For some, I feel like that already happened. But yeah, they're not going to be able to distract themselves. It's not going to go well with third parties. And that's also just the, the third party spirit guides protecting these third parties from them because this person can't do this to person after person after person and, and never look in the mirror and never take accountability for their role and where things went wrong in their relationships. But anyway, with this third party, I feel like I kind of get the, this like illusion energy with the moon. There was something hidden here. Tell me about this. I almost feel like there was. OK, so like when this masculine like went out trying to find a distraction, trying to, you know, telling himself this other woman, you know, the our viewers were just, you know, dramatic and jealous and they're going to go find somebody else to give them the ego boost they want and give them the validation and, you know, make excuses for their manipulative behaviors and it's so weird because it's like they could just take accountability they could just be like you know at any point they could just be like yeah i i did mentally man manipulate people in the past or i did do these things or i i do have a pattern of cheating i do have a pattern of not being able to be loyal but hey i want to work on myself like i i, I see these these you know bad qualities in myself and I really want to work on it. I want to be a better person. I'm I'm looking at where these originate from, whether it's childhood or past relationships. Um, I'm looking at my own wounding and I really want to do better. And the Empress would have met him with that. She would have embraced that energy and been like, yeah, let's let's work through this together. You know, the sun, they could have moved forward together. They she would have supported him through all of that. But he's he's denying that. For this group of masculines, it's like they they have that option. Um, and there are most of them still have the option. I mean, I feel like this, I feel like this empress is, is seeing this differently every, every day that goes by. I think her perspective is shifting on this, but yeah, he's the one that blocked it. He's the one that rejected this. She didn't reject him. He's the one that rejected her. He's the one that pushed her away. But, um, but yeah, when they went out there to like, you know, find something easier, find something better, see if the grass is greener on the other side. Tell me what happened with that. I feel like there was like an illusion where it's like they met somebody that was like really glamorous and appeared very confident like an empress, but she was a false empress. And I almost feel like this masculine got caught up in this illusion, again, wanting validation, wanting um, like an escape, like, okay, this is easier, like this will be, you know, a good ego boost for me. Like, you know, this is something new and exciting. And I feel like he was working towards it. What happened? Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Why are the Ace of Wands in the Emperor? I feel like this woman got information about this man that made her stand her ground. It's it's almost like this man is kind of ruining his own reputation in the community for some is what I'm getting. Where it's almost like... Like people know his reputation at this point, you know what I mean? Or if he has people that he like vents to, it's almost like people are starting... Like friends of his are starting to catch on. They're kind of like, mm, it's kind of weird that like all these women happen to be jealous or all these women happen to be crazy. Like it's kind of like somebody is kind of in this energy of like, mm, this is kind of like, there's something weird here. Like, like this, this masculine is told the same. It's like, he's, it's like this manipulative energy where he's told the same story again and again and again. And like certain people are not buying it anymore. 
I feel like there was information that came through with this third party, and I think she stood her ground with him. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands and the Emperor and the Six of Swords. Five of Swords. The Hangman is a new... Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> the Hangman is a new perspective. Five of Swords can be like conflict, disagreements. I feel, I feel like this, um, tell me more about this woman. I feel like they had arguments or disagreements and she saw it from a new perspective, this third party karmic. Um, so two different energies here. So there's the empress, there's like his actual true love that would have had his back. Um, but he rejected her. He wanted to go see what else is out there. And now she's changing her perspective. She's, she's not going to be anybody's second choice. So if he's making that decision to go play the field and see what else is out there, then she's, she's not, she's not doing it. You know, she's, she's first choice or, or nothing pretty much. Um, like I said, for some, I feel like this empress is still open to this man. Like she's still open to working with him and being with him, but only if he comes forward correctly, only if he really owns his shit and shows her that he's capable of being a real man, being an emperor here. But um, anyway, but we're looking into the third party now. Yeah, I feel I feel like this was like, I feel like this, this third party saw things in him that she didn't like. Tell me about, yeah, the devil. He's, yeah, the devil and the ace of swords, truth and clear. The devil is like toxic behaviors, toxic, toxic, um, like it's devil energy. It, it's, it's toxic coping me mechanisms. It's, you know, manipulation, like manipulative energies, uh, could be gaslighting even it, it's like devil energy. It's like things that keep people tied, like held back. And so I feel like this, um, like not only was it not easier with this third party, it was actually just more drama. Like this, this third party might've pointed out the same things that the other woman pointed out as well. There was truth and clarity about some kind of something, something came to light where it's like, he thought he was going to present himself as, oh, I see what it's saying. He thought he was going to present himself as this emperor with this new woman. He thought, because he knew with this past woman, he knew that he would actually have to put the work and energy and effort in to be the emperor, to be a real man, and to match her energy as the empress, to be a power couple. You know, they could have had everything, best friends, lovers, like twin flames, soulmates, like they could have had it all. And he chose not to go, he chose not to go down that path. But I think he wanted to present himself as like this alpha, like this, this emperor kind of energy with this new woman, because she didn't, she didn't know about this devil energy at first, you know what I mean? Like she might not have known about these patterns. So he's like, well, I'll just pretend to be all the things that I want to be. I'll just put my best foot forward. I'll, I'll hide my insecurities. I'll hide my fears. I'll hide my bad qualities, you know, uh, very bruised ego here and then I think she just saw it anyway I, th I think that something came out where she she was probably intuitive herself and she probably realized he had third I think all these women probably realized that he had multiple women he was talking to at the same time um but I feel like she just she kind of recognized that he wasn't an emperor that he was trying to present himself as an emperor but she she recognized that that he wasn't that he wasn't what he appeared to be yeah, she saw something in him. There's some kind of devil energy. Either she caught him talking to a third party or I feel like this. So this is for the karmic. This isn't for his actual like the the actual empress. This is for that third party karmic that he wanted to go, you know, again, see if the grass was greener on the other side, see if he could go have fun and play around and get an ego boost. And he thought he could just come back to this empress whenever he felt bored and lonely, you know, just what check up on her every few weeks or every couple months or so when there's no other options available and just come right in and out of her life. Mm -mm, nope. But yeah, this third party was like the new shiny thing. And I feel like it just, tell me more about the devil and the ace of swords. What did this third party like see in him or what did she find out that she just was not having? Knight of Pentacles, somebody that's very slow moving. The Knight of Pentacles can be loyal, but I feel like why the justice card? But the Knight of Pentacles can also be very slow moving. Justice, Ten of Swords. Yeah. 
Yeah, this karmic might have actually betrayed him or hurt him in some way. I think this karmic actually hurt his ego too. And it was divine justice. He deserved that, you know? Like it's divine justice that, you know, after how much he hurt that empress, that genuine empress that really just loved him and was vulnerable with him, she wasn't playing any games. She really just had his best interest at heart, just wanted to be there with him, be there for him, help him grow, support him. Just She genuinely just wanted him for the right reasons. So it's kind of divine justice that, you know, he is met with this Ten of Swords energy with these third parties. Ten of Swords is like betrayal, like... You know, he's going to get, the way he betrayed this empress, he's going to get betrayed by third parties. The way he pushed this empress away, neglected her, um, uh, took her for granted, exploited her emotions, exploited her vulnerability. He's going to have that same energy from third parties. It's divine justice. It's his bad karma. Especially because he's not taking accountability. He's making, it's almost like he's trying to escape this bad karma and he's actually making it worse by trying to escape it because he's, it's almost like he's trying to find like these loopholes and there's no loopholes when it comes to spirit guides. You know, these spirit guides are around him. He's not going to be able to find some loophole from this. You know what I mean? I mean, the loophole would be like taking accountability, like working on being a better person, balancing that karma out. But instead of doing those things, it's almost like he's just trying to, it, it's like denial, denial, denial. It's like he's just trying to deny his role in things. He's trying to play the victim. He's trying to blame other people. Um, he's not seeing the pain that he's caused people. He's he's not stepping up. He's not taking accountability. So the, f the fact that he's just trying to run from the bad karma instead of understanding why that bad karma is there to begin with, Instead of having empathy and seeing other people's perspectives, just, you know, him him trying to avoid the bad karma is why he's going to have even worse karma. The fact that he's trying to, to run, to escape, to find all these women to just use for an ego boost, for, you know, just to have around whenever he's bored and lonely, that's, that's why he's going to be bent with even worse karma. But, um, yeah, tell me more about what she, what she saw. The devil and the ace of swords. This this karmic saw something. This was like the the yeah the shiny new toy. It was like something a distraction. Seven of cups. Two of wands. The lovers. She realized that this was not what she wanted long term, <laughs> and she realized this quickly. I don't think it lasted. So I'm getting a couple different scenarios. I'm actually getting, even though the magician card isn't out here, I am getting that, um, and it might, maybe it'll come out in the reading. I am actually feeling this energy of the, the magician where I think for some, I feel like this third party karmic might have done like, uh, like love drawing spells, like, like manifestation spells. I feel like this third party karmic, I feel like, is it the same energy I was getting in the other? Actually, mm, is it? For some, it's the same. I almost feel like he's this masculine is going to be dealing with the same type of woman. Like if he's trying to like escape and deal with these third parties for an ego boost, he's going to be met with like the same type of woman. He's not actually going to be able to manifest a genuinely good woman because he had a good woman. He had the empress. He had the empress is all four queens combined. Like he had that woman was like a, a blessing that was sent to him and he sabotaged that and broke her heart and pushed her away. So you, you don't, the divine isn't just going to bring you another empress after you do that to, it, it's almost like the divine giving you a gift and you just throw that gift in the trash. You really think that the divine, that your spirit guides are going to bring you another gift of that kind of value again after that? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> like he threw this empress in the trash. So no, the divine's not just going to bring him a new empress. He's going to deal with these, these petty, insecure women that are going to seem like everything he's ever wanted at first. They're going to seem beautiful and glamorous. They're the kind of like Jezebel spirits, seductress types, and they're going to fuck him over. It's honestly what I'm feeling. It's not, it's not going to, the divine is going to let him think that it's going to be everything he ever wanted at first too. And then it's like I said, the rug's going to be ripped out from under him. Because I keep getting something about, like, these women being very glamorous. Like, because I keep seeing this woman that, like, 
always wears makeup everywhere she goes. Like she's very attractive and there's nothing wrong with like wearing makeup, but I'm just getting this energy of somebody who's not like, um, like they don't have like a natural beauty. You know what I mean? Like this is like a woman who just has to wear makeup. They, they care. This woman cares a lot about her image. She's, um, she's manipulative too, actually. She's probably going to manipulate this man, but she, she knows how to, it's almost like she can play these different roles based on who she's talking to. Like she, she has like different, like she knows how to seduce men. She knows how to, um, she might even like read like the art of seduction. Like this is like a woman that like knows how to like play these different men. And like, she knows how to, um, how to be what they want or how to appear like she's everything that they want to, cause she likes attention. This woman is actually very insecure deep down. I keep getting, I'm sorry. I know it's, it's fucked up to say, but I keep getting, she's not pretty without makeup. I don't know why I keep hearing that. Like this woman wears like a ton of makeup. It's almost like you ever guys, you guys ever see those TikTok videos where they like do the before and after where the woman looks completely different without makeup. Like I'm getting that energy. Like she really goes all out. Like she does her hair, maybe fake eyelashes. Like she goes all out and she plays a certain role. But deep down, she doesn't have a lot of depth. She doesn't have a lot of um, loyalty. She's she's not, she, she wants to appear a certain way. But anyway, this might not necessarily be this, be this woman, though. This could be someone that he's going to encounter. There might be one, more than one third party. So this could be someone that he's going to encounter in the future that's, that's going to break his heart and teach him these karmic lessons. Like, he's... The divine is going to let these women fuck him over as, as much as they have to, to teach him these karmic lessons. He's not going to be able to escape from it. You know what I mean? Um, cause he has to take accountability. He can't, like I said, if you, if you get a, an empress, if you get that, that kind of like just divine gift from the universe, like you pray for true love and you have an empress come into your life that just loves you and is vulnerable with you and supports you. And you throw that in the trash. Like I said, the divine isn't just going to bring you another empress after that. You, you had your chance with that empress and you, you threw it away. You didn't want it. So, you know, now you're going to, you're going to deal with people that are, it's almost like the divine was like testing this man. Like, okay. Like, like they were, the it's almost like, it's really sad because it's almost like his, his spirit guides were giving him the benefit of the doubt. His spirit guides were like, okay, you're, you're praying for this true love. Like you, you're heartbroken. Like you want true love. You want an empress. You want somebody that's confident, that's spiritual, that's loyal. Like, okay, like, like prove yourself, show that you can be the emperor and match, match her energy. Like, let's all right. Like they actually gave him the benefit of the doubt and brought this empress into his life. This very spiritual, very, you know, intelligent, gifted woman. And he treated her like shit. He took her for granted he did not step up and be the emperor. He didn't even make any attempts to step up and be the emperor. She would have been patient if she had seen him making effort, even if it wasn't perfect. If she saw him even just making the effort to be the emperor, she would have been patient with him. But no, he didn't do that. He took her for granted. He treated her like garbage. So it, it's almost like it's almost like a slap in the face to his spirit guides that he was praying to for this empress. They're like, wow, like you prayed for this. You promised us that you were going to be worthy of this, that you were going to match her energy, that you were going to treat this woman right. Um, and then you just threw this gift that we gave you in the trash. Really? Like they're, they're not, the, the, the divine is not happy. They're not, they're not bringing him another gift like that. He's going to be met with really insecure, petty, shallow women, you know? Because after how much he hurt the Empress, it's like they're not going to give him a chance to like hurt somebody else that's in that energy and that kind of power again. You know what I mean? Like they're not, they're not, you know, he can play around with those like insecure little girls, but he's, they're not going to, they're not going to let him hurt a real woman like that again. But um, anyway, let's get into it. And this kind of goes hand in hand with what we were getting, like where the more games he plays, if he tries to play games with this empress or tries to hurt her in any way again, they're 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 gonna come down on him hard. It's up to him how bad his karma gets. But she's she's been through enough, so she's divinely protected right now. Um but yeah, if he tries to manipulate her or play any games or anything like that to get back in her energy, the the spirit guides are gonna fuck him up. The only way he can come back into this empress's energy is if he's taking accountability and, and making the effort to be an emperor for her. 
but um, anyway, let's get back into it. So, so what I feel, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. So sometimes when I channel, it's like all this information comes through and I got to start through it. So I got to backtrack a little bit, but what I'm feeling with this third party is I feel like this third party actually was trying to manifest love. For some, this third party is an ex of his that wanted him back. But it's really strange because it's like, I don't know why she wanted him back because I don't get the energy that she was really happy with him. Like, I think that she just like, I almost feel like if this was like an ex of his, I almost feel like she was the one that broke his heart in the past. Like she really hurt him and rejected him. And I almost feel like maybe, I feel like this woman's kind of insecure and she wants what she can't have. So I almost feel like this woman maybe like, Maybe she didn't have another chance with him again, so she wanted him back, and she was trying to manifest him and trying to do witchcraft, and it, like, wasn't working. And for others, I feel like this woman was just trying to, like, this could be a new woman that was just trying to do spell work to manifest um, love, and it kind of backfired on her in a way. I don't want to say backfired, but, like, sometimes when you do love manifesting, like, when you try to find love, you attract anyone that's, like, in that vibration and, like, attracted to you. So you still have to really use your discernment when you're doing love drawing spells. Um, not love spells. Not I, I would never recommend love spells. I don't recommend doing anything to mess with anyone. It's free will. But what I'm talking about, the kind of spell work I'm picking up on is, is just, like, a general love spell. Like, a general, like... I want to meet the, my person. I want to, I want to find true love. Like I'm not putting anyone's specific name out there. I just, you know, in general, just, you know, universe spirit guides, please bring me, um, a soulmate or please bring me someone that I can have a relationship with, you know, that's totally acceptable. That's not messing with anybody's free will. And I feel like for some, you know, like I said, she was either an old person from the past that was actually doing witchcraft on him specifically, but it's strange because it's almost like she didn't really want him. She just, wanted him back because it's like she was bored or lonely or couldn't have him for others I feel like it was a brand new person that was doing um some kind of energy work or spell work to um to like manifest you know like new love like she was just tired of being single she was tired of being alone she wanted to find somebody and I feel like he was just kind of in her energy field like maybe they had re met recently and they had like a physical attraction like a lust here um, and so, you know, he came into her life, but I feel like I, I don't feel like it lasted long. I feel like it was like a matter of like a few weeks, maybe like two or three months or something. Like, I think it was very early on that she saw some shit in him that she did not like. She realized that, um, yeah, it was a huge knock to his ego. She realized that, uh, whether it was an ex or somebody new, she realized that he was not what he was, what, what she wanted. I think this woman kind of is like bored and lonely. And I think she kind of liked the attention, which again, makes sense that that would be his karma because, you know, this man was bored and lonely and messing with an empress, you know, thinking that not really loving this empress, but just thinking he could come in and out whenever he wanted an ego boost, you know, so he was met with somebody that did the same shit to him. You know, I feel like this third party karmic, it's, it's like... I feel like she just liked the attention. Like she liked that he was chasing her. Like she liked the energy from him. Um, I'm going to look more into this. But yeah, very early on she saw through him or she saw something. Maybe like an incompatibility too. Like I think that there's, I don't, I don't think that. How do I explain it? I'm almost getting for some that she didn't like his sense of humor. Or she didn't like, um. Like, he, like, annoyed her in some way. There's, like, something about him that, like, she didn't really like. Like, there's certain things she, like, she just didn't resonate with who he really is. Like, she saw, him, you know, she saw certain things and she's like, oh, no, this is not, I'm not compatible with this. Like, she wants a certain type of man and I feel like she realized early on that this was not that man this third party karmic that he, you know, ran off with because it was, it was new and it was exciting. Yeah. She, she saw through him. She wasn't having it. It's almost like she was like under this illusion for a while. He might've been under this illusion too. Like he might've felt like she was all these wonderful things, like love at first sight. Like she's super glamorous. Like, Oh, this is like the love I've been looking for. Like it's finally here. Um, and that, that illusion is just, no, mm-mm. 
it was fake. It was it was lust. It was very surface level with whatever they had. Again, I don't think it lasted very, it lasted very long. I think it was like a couple of weeks. I think that. Let's see. Yeah, because it's like almost like two of wands is like someone like thinking long term. So I think that she got out of this illusion energy and she's like, oh, wait, no, I don't I don't resonate with this man. I don't this man's not an emperor. This man's not what I mm -mm. I'm going to go manifest somebody else. It's almost like she was just trying to manifest love and she happened to run into him and, you know, she was lonely. So she went with it. Um, but yeah, she saw some shit in him she really didn't like. I just get that she really, this third party karmic that like he, he left this empress for, like he, again, wanted to find something new and exciting, wanted to see if the grass was greener on the other side, wanted validation, wanted to go find something easier. Um, I feel like this third party, like really, uh, I just get that she like didn't like his personality almost like she, she liked his appearance, I think. And she liked what he portrayed, but I don't think it's like, there's certain things about him that like this, em this genuine empress actually really loved. Like if he's kind of nerdy, like she loved that. If he like his sense of humor, like they were highly compatible, but with this, th this third party, I feel like it's just weird, but it's almost like she really didn't like his personality. Like there's some, there's like certain qualities that he has where she just like really, was not into it you know what I mean like she's really like mm. like if he like let's say he's like into I just get that there's something that he's like passionate about that like she really thought was like boring or she like really didn't like resonate with it like she was really like mm. like I don't know like almost like there's like you ever meet someone you're not compatible with and it's almost like little things that they like just like irritate you like they just don't sit right with you it's almost like that but it's it's like she liked it's almost like she strung this masculine on a little bit. Like, I feel like she kind of breadcrumbed him a little bit because she liked the attention. And I feel like she really didn't want to be alone. So she wanted to have this masculine as, like, a backup option while she kept doing spell work to try to manifest, like, somebody new. She was like, well, you know, I'll, I'll talk to him every once in a while. Like, I'm not going to... Maybe I'll hang out with him once in a while, but I'm not going to, you know, see him too much. I'm not going to put myself out there too much. I'm going to you know, kind of, you know, the same shit that he did to this empress. It's karma. It's karma. He deserves it. But, um, yeah, justice right here. <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, it's, it's almost like she just kind of wanted to have him on hold while she went to see what else was out there. Again, it's, it's a woman that's very insecure, like always, always has to wear makeup. I keep getting that. Like she always has to like look a certain way. Like she cares a lot about image. Like their connection was very surface level. Like I feel like they didn't have a lot in common. Like they didn't have the same like interest in a lot of ways. Like there's something about his hobbies that she didn't resonate with or something about him that she really just did not like. But, um, but yeah, she like, she didn't want to be alone. So she kept him on hold. She, she liked the attention. She liked, you know, she, she liked the attention, but she didn't really want him. Tell me what happened after that. Like, so what happened? So, you know, we have the storyline here. It's like, she was kind of stringing him along, but she wasn't really feeling it. Like she just she wanted I almost feel like she's somebody that's like very insecure and like cannot be alone because it's like if you're that incompatible with somebody like why are you dealing with them it's really strange but yeah it's, it's almost like she was like maybe didn't have any other options or something like that or she didn't have like like she it, it's like the kind of woman that will like talk to like multiple men at once because it's like she doesn't she always wants to make sure she has some some options she always wants someone chasing her it's like she kind of has a big ego too But yeah, she really wasn't feeling him. I think he could pick up on it too. Like, I think he could pick up that they weren't compatible. Like this third party karmic that he went off with, I think he could pick up that they weren't really compatible or that she, um, like that she wanted to change him and like, you know, in like a, in a negative way, like not change him as in like, you know, better, like empower him and get him to, to step up. But like, she wanted to change him in like ways of like, like changing his personality or changing his interests and that kind of thing. Um, so what happened with her? What happened with this woman with this situation? Like, you know, she, she was kind of putting them on holds. Um, 
kind of breadcrumbing him so she didn't have to be alone. She liked the attention, the magician, Knight of Cups. Yeah, eventually, I think she just said, fuck it. I think eventually she was like, she was like, no, like, I want to manifest my actual wish fulfillment the magician and the Nine of Cups. She's like, no, like, I want to manifest my actual true love. Hmm. That's karma for you right there. Death. Yeah, I feel like she put an ending to the situation with him. I feel like someone was left out in the cold here. Oh. Actually, I'm getting another storyline too. Let me confirm this. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Is, is she... Did she try to force him to be what he's not? Okay, so for some, I'm seeing two different storylines here almost. For some, this third-party karmic woman that, um, again, he left an actual empress for her. So this third party was not an empress. She was insecure. She was very glamorous, very... Didn't have a lot of depth, but again, she probably presented herself as someone that... She, she, again, she put on a show. She put on an image. She tried to present herself as more than she actually is. I'm not saying she's necessarily a horrible person, but I'm just saying she's someone that knows how to seduce men and she knows how to play different roles, basically. But um, not an actual empress, not, not genuine confidence, more, um, more physical appearance kind of confidence, surface level confidence. Um, and he didn't have that same kind of deep connection that he had with this empress. There wasn't that loyalty. There wasn't, it was more surface level, more kind of lust. But what I'm getting here for, for another storyline. So for some, the third party karmic just straight up was like, you know what? Screw this. Like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm going to go manifest what I actually want. I'm putting an end to this situation, a transformation. I'm leaving this person out in the cold. For some, I feel like this, um, she might have had tact about it. She might have just tried, she might have given him like a, oh, it's, it's, it's not you, it's me speech. Or I just, because I feel like maybe for some, like he might have called her out. Like at some point he might have been like, hey, why are you like breadcrumbing me? Like, why are you? Like, cause I think he kind of sensed that he was being put on hold while she went to see like if she could actually manifest her her real true love because she started seeing through this man, she started seeing things in him that she did not like, but she still didn't want to be alone and she still liked the attention that she was getting from him. Maybe she liked the friendship aspect of it to some degree. Um. Yeah, he he was kind of old reliable, I guess, to some degree. And I, but I feel like at some point it's like she was just like, mm -mm. I'm, I'm man, like so, something happened where she's like, it's not worth it. I'm just going to, I'm going to go like, like he might, he might have, he might have called her out and said like, you know, like I said, like, why are you breadcrumbing me or why do you keep putting me on hold? Like, I thought there was a chemistry here. Like, why, why are you all over the place? And he might've come to that realization that she was just, you know, again, trying to keep him as a backup option. Which again, if he does that to other women, he he deserves that. He deserves that to happen to him as well. This energy. Yeah, because he might have they might have had some kind of confrontation. Like they might have had some kind of conversation about that. Like he might have wanted to know where he stood with her. He wanted to see if she was an option or she he he was like left in the dark. Like he didn't know for sure how she felt. And I think he tried to find that clarity. Um, yeah, let's see. For others, though, the message that I was getting, I feel like there's some kind of confrontation between them. I feel like there's some kind of falling out or something between them. But the other message I was getting for some is she actually started doing magic on him. Like, she might have done, um, if she knew about this empress, she might have done, like, breakup work on them if they were still in contact um, or she might have done like some kind of magic here, but I'm getting that the main magic I'm getting is like illusion rituals, like illusion spells. 
I almost feel like, so this is for those against, so for some, she was like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm going to go manifest my actual person. I'm leaving you out in the cold. Like maybe they got some kind of closure or they had some kind of disagreement for others. I feel like this woman actually tried to do spell work on him to like force him to be her ideal man, like to force him to be what she wanted because she was tired of looking. She didn't want to, again, this, this third party karmic, this very glamorous kind of seductive type karmic, she didn't really, um, she didn't want to keep looking. She didn't, she was getting lonely. She was, you know, tired of waiting. She, she didn't want to keep looking. So I think that she did some spell work on him to kind of try to force him to be her wish fulfillment. So let's say that this man is like, um, I don't know, like there's just something about his personality. Tell me more about this. Like it wasn't good rich. It's, the spell work I'm getting isn't good though. It's very controlling spell work. It's almost like, like if he was like nerdy and she didn't like that, it's almost like doing spell work to like make him not like that. Or or like if she, if he was like, um, what is it? I'm trying to, I guess it's going to be different for everybody, but I just get the energy of like her not liking certain things about him. So it's like, she tried to like, she tried to like change him, but like not in a good way, like not in a way that he would genuinely want to change. She tried to change things about him that were like part of who he genuinely is. Nine of swords, 10 of wands. Wow. Nine of swords is like insomnia, sleepless nights, anxiety. 10 of wands is like it's like a heavy burden. Yeah, I feel like this woman is really lonely. I feel like she had so many sleepless nights. Like, I feel like she was stressed out because I feel like she was like, you know, I put so much effort into like, well, okay. So, so two different storylines here. For some, this was an ex and she broke his heart in the past and then she came back around. And the thing is, it's weird because it's almost like she just wanted him because she couldn't have him now or something like that. Or she wanted like, a side of him that no longer exists or something like that. So for some, if it was like an ex of his that came back, it's like she came back, but she doesn't like who he is currently. So she tried to do spell work to like change him and like make him who he used to be or make him into what she wanted. Um, for those where it was like a new person where, you know, this was like a new woman that he met and she's been trying to like find her true love and manifest that. And she just, you know, is having like these sleepless nights, this loneliness, because it's like she couldn't find that. Like she hasn't made, she's maybe been single for a long time. She's like, you know what, screw it. I'm done looking. I'm getting older. Like I don't have the patience for this. Like the straw that broke the camel's back. It's almost like, almost like she was like frustrated with the universe and she took it out on this man. Almost like she's just like, you know what, like screw it. Like he is here. I don't have the patience to keep looking. So like, no, he's not my ideal type. Like I, you know, there's things about his personality or his hobbies that I don't like, but, but you know what? I don't want to be alone. I don't want to look anymore. So I'm going to do spell work to try to force him to be like my ideal man. You know what I mean? Like instead of just accepting it and being like, oh, we're not compatible. Like we don't have the same music taste or, or the same, like, like emotion, like, you know, on like deeper levels, they really didn't connect. Um, but yeah, it's like, she was like, no, I'm not going to be alone though. I'm just going to do spell work on him to force him to, to change. <laughs> Eight of wands, temperance. Hmm. What is this about? The fool. Four of swords. Yeah, it's like she was trying to force something in him, like force like some kind of balance here that just wasn't happening. What? Hmm. I feel like for some, she might have given up, though. She might have been like trying to force him to be a certain way or she was trying to um, tell me more about this. Oh, shit. <laughs> what was that? Two of Cups. 
Yeah, it's almost like she was like a karmic of his. Like she wasn't even like a soulmate or she wasn't someone he had like a strong past life connection with. It was very surface level, but she was like so desperate just to be in love finally that she was like, well, I'm just gonna, like this guy is the one. Like this, you know what I mean? Like like I, I'm, I'm gonna settle for this guy. Like she was settling for him. She didn't really, she wasn't really in love with him. And I feel like he could tell that this third party karmic, you know, I keep getting like a seductress, like very glamorous. She's very shallow, but she probably doesn't seem shallow because again, she's kind of like a chameleon where she can mimic like certain people's energy. She can reflect that back to people, but it, it's, it, it's just a desperation not to be alone. But yeah, I don't feel like they had a very deep connection. Like, I don't think it got that deep. I think it was more like flirting, more casual. Like, I don't think they could have deep conversations with each other. Like, I don't think they have that, like, chemistry and that compatibility. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it got that emotional or that deep. And I think this man intuitively kind of knew, too, that she wasn't that into him. Because, like I said, I think that she kept breadcrumbing him, only talked to him when she was bored and lonely. Like, she didn't really... Maybe she didn't let their conversations get too deep. Like, she never told him she loved him. She never, like, like she never really had his back. She never really had his back like this empress did. But again, you throw away an empress, that's, this is what you get. You know what I mean? You're not going to, like I said, you're not going to get another empress after that. You're not going to get another spiritual gift from the divine like that after you throw someone like that away. Like this empress was the entire package and he treated her like it was just trash. Like she was just trash. Yeah. Yeah, she was really, it, it's like she was trying to force him to be a, this, this third party karmic, this Jezebel type spirit. It's like she was trying to force him to be a soulmate and there was no past life connection there. It was just lust. It was just, it, again, it was just glamour. It was just, you know, mutual loneliness pretty much. Mutual. It's, it's almost like they kind of reflect, like they both wanted an ego boost. Both these people, both him and her both care a lot about their image. I feel like she was trying to force it here and it's like. It just wasn't happening. But for others, I do feel like she gave up. I do feel like she might have... Um, I almost feel like she might have been doing spell work to try to, like, again, force him to be a certain way, force him to force a connection that, like, wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like, like let's say they have conversations and they're, like, light and fun, but there's no depth. There's no... There's no real emotion there on either end. It's almost like she tried to like, again, she was just kind of settling for him. So she tried to do spell work to force changes in him, try to do spell work to force um, a connection, try to make herself more emotionally and mentally attracted to him. Um, the third party karmic. And I just feel like, I feel like at some point he might have maybe started talking to other women and she picked up on that and that's when she was like fuck it like like she was probably like I'm already settling for this guy like this already is not you know I'm already not that into him like I'm already not really in love with him I'm already like there's there's things about him I already don't like and then for him to like go like maybe she was still pursuing it it's, it's almost like she was trying to convince herself that she had stronger feeling like and, and, again, and again, I think it came out like I think he could tell that this third party that he he left this empress for, I think he could tell that she wasn't that into him. But it's like she was trying to convince it's almost like she was trying to be controlling with him and she was trying to like convince herself that she had more feelings for him than she did. But I don't think she would have she never told him whoever this woman is, she never told him she loved him. She never did love him. She never um, she never expressed much emotion. She never, um, like, he could feel that energy of her kind of settling, of her, you know, not liking, not really being compatible in deep levels. But yeah, I think when he started, like, he started doing something. Tell me about that. I, I kind of feel like maybe he started, like, talking to other women because he kind of felt that energy of her, like, settling for him or her just breadcrumbing him, of her, like... Maybe she would like send him sexy pictures and then like not talk to him for the rest of the day or something like just weird, like weird behaviors, you know, um, or like maybe picked up that she was talking to other men or just something of that sort. 
I feel like he kind of started talking to other women too. He started seeing that this wasn't going to go anywhere, that it wasn't, that it was an illusion, that this was not actually, there, there's nothing here except for lust, except for a mutual loneliness and mutual, in, both these people care about their image a lot. Um, like I was saying, I feel like, yeah, I feel like when he started talking to other women, that's when she's like, well, screw it. Like, I'm already settling. What, what the hell's the point? Like, I'm like, it wasn't worth it to her to deal with that. You know what I mean? Like, if she was already trying to force herself um, to just be happy with his man because she didn't want to keep looking for her actual person, I think when he brought other women into it, or he did something here where, yeah, three of swords, he did something here where she's just like, mm -mm. like, I'm not <laughs> like... Almost something where it's like he, she would have to fight for him and she wasn't, she maybe put up a little bit of a fight, but then I think in a very short period of time, like whatever he was doing, she was just like, mm, like I'm not, it's not worth it to me. I don't love this man enough to invest like this or to deal with these third parties. Yeah. Rejection. Someone got rejected here. Someone got left out in the cold. Somebody got hurt. Why the Ten of Pentacles? I feel like this man was confused about who his actual true love was. Three of Cups is often a third party. And Ten of Pentacles, it's almost like he was offering this to this woman and this to this woman and this to this other woman. Mm -mm. Nope. He broke his own heart. Because he had one true love, and that was this empress. That was this divine gift from the universe that he he betrayed her. He left her out in the cold. He hurt her. He really betrayed her trust. He broke her trust. And now, like I said, he's going to have third-party karmics do the same shit to him. He's going to be heartbroken. He's going to be left out in the cold. He's going to be rejected. I feel like these women are also aren't, aren't taking his little petty, childish little breadcrumb offers either. They're not. They're not really... It's not going to work. They're not going to take little little breadcrumbs here and there. Yeah, I feel like he was under some kind of illusion. I think that this woman does glamour spells on herself too, this third party. I think she does some kind of glamour to make herself seem more attractive than she is and make herself seem more interesting than she is. Because I feel like for a while he was kind of like, oh, maybe this is like my person or this is... It's like he was under some kind of glamour illusion spell or something. And I feel like that's kind of breaking now or it's broken. Because, yeah, he was confused about who his actual true love is. And it's sad, too, because it was this empress. But I think that, you know, since this empress is high priestess, she knows. I think she was loyal to him in the past. I think she was devoted to him. I think she didn't she didn't see anybody else. She wasn't she, this empress was not interested in other men. It was that for her, it was this man or it was nobody. She was loyal to him. She was like, it's this man or it's nobody. Like, I don't want other guys. Like, this is genuinely just my person. Um, I think realizing that he's out playing the field, playing with these, you know, third parties, messing around, wanting to have his cake and eat it too, wanting to come around when he's bored and lonely, um, not really giving her a solid offer, just being seduced by these third parties, by these shallow relationships, caring so much about his image, caring so much about what people think, you know, just wanting to explore his options. I think that's what's kind of made her shift her perspective. That's a big part of it where she's like, well, maybe I should explore my options now. You know, if you're out there exploring your options, if you're confused about me, if you're confused, if you're, this empress is like, you know what, if you're confused about me, if you really think some, some glamorous Jezebel spirit here could be your true love when I'm right here, then you know what, maybe I should go out and explore my options too. Maybe I should see what else is out there. Cause she's recognized this empress is recognizing it. She's like, this man has been going out and seeing if there's, seeing if there's something better, seeing if there's something easier seeing if there's another ego boost out there, whatever. He, he's, he hasn't been loyal. He's been going out and playing the field. 
And so I think this empress is looking at herself and she's like, well, why the hell have I been so loyal? Why have I been so devoted to this? Maybe I should go play the field too. Maybe I should go see what else is out there. Maybe I should go, you know, I want to be somebody's first choice. You know, she's she's not, she's the entire package. She's not going to be anybody's second choice. Mm -mm. It's going to be conflict. You try to make an empress someone's second choice? No, not going to happen. Yeah, this man would have to be in the King of Cups energy and the star. He need, he would need to get out of this victim mentality and be in an emotionally available King of Cups energy and put the work into healing this if he wants anything with this empress. For those of you empresses that are watching that even still want to give him a second chance, that is. But the emperor, yeah, the empress is not a second choice. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I do feel like this third party has already ended or it's about to end. I feel like, again, I feel like there was a conflict where she, this woman was just like, this third party karmic, like I said, she didn't really have his back like the Empress did. She didn't have that love and that loyalty and that devotion to him like the Empress did. It was more of a shallow kind of flirty connection. So, so you know, like I said, she was trying to force herself to settle for it, trying to force herself to maybe doing glamour spells and just trying to trying to convince herself she was happy with, with him. But again, I think when he started entertaining third parties or he started... Um, Maybe she saw more of his flaws. She saw more of his damage. Maybe he, like, she saw things in him that she didn't like. And she's like, you know what? Never mind. It's not, never mind. Not worth it. Like, um, it, it's kind of like she, it's almost like she was putting herself under this illusion spell as well. Like, trying to force herself to just be happy with someone that she, it's like this third party, like, never really loved him. Like, she was never all that into it, you know? Um... But yeah, it's almost like she set herself free of that as well. She's like, oh shit, this isn't, never mind, it's not worth it. It's almost like she might have done some dark magic on him and then like taken it back. She might have been like, wait, never mind. I'm like her loneliness. It's almost like this third party. It's like her loneliness got the best of her and she might have been doing some shit on him. And then she like maybe like undid it or something like that. Or maybe she was just like. Like, some, like something clicked where she was just like, like they had a falling out and she was just like, I. Like, wait, I don't want this. Like, wait, never mind. This isn't for me. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not that into this man. It's not worth it doing all this magic on him. Like, never mind. Let me just, let me just, you know, say my piece. They might've got an argument or something, but there's some kind of, um, th that connection's ended or it's ending with the third party. Yeah, someone got rejected. Someone, there's some kind of cycle that ended. So is there anything else? I know this reading, like, I always try to do these short readings. They end up being so damn long. Is there anything else you want to say about this third party situation? <laughs> the t yeah, the tower. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but it's like karma. Like, just fucking karma is coming through so hard for these masculines. The tower and judgment. Like, that is like, you got the justice card. You got judgment right here. This tower, this, like, breakdown, this, he's going through an ego death, and he's going to be forced to go through it. Like, his ego is going to be broken down. The more he fights it, the harder it's going to be. Again, he tries, it's, it's like I said, he's going to try to distract himself. He's, he's going to try to run from himself. He's going to try to distract himself from these third parties. I bet you anything... I bet you, I bet you guys fucking anything that this third party that he just dealt with that wasn't willing to deal with, he, like I said, he, this third party wasn't willing to deal with his shit. Not like the Empress was. This Empress loved him for the right reasons. She genuinely just loved him for who he is. She genuinely just wanted to spend her life with him. Like she had genuine true love for this man. No games, no illusions. She just, she was, she was vulnerable with him. Completely vulnerable until he showed her that, you know, she's he's only going to exploit her vulnerability and, and just take it for granted. And now she doesn't trust being in a vulnerable energy with him because he hasn't given her any reason to, he hasn't given this empress any reason to trust being in a vulnerable state with him. You know what I mean? Like he would have to, like I said, step up as the king of cups and give her some kind of reason to open up, to feel safe being vulnerable. A woman is not going to be in her feminine energy with a man that she cannot feel emotionally safe with. 
If a man exploits a woman's vulnerability, exploits her emotions, plays mind games with her, has third parties, is in and out, hot and cold, just only comes around when he's bored and lonely, fucks with her head, like she's not going to feel safe being in her feminine energy with him. So if this masculine wants her in, in her in her feminine energy, he's going to have to man up and give her a reason to be in her feminine energy. Give her a reason to be feel safe being in her feminine energy. That's for those of you empresses that are still willing to give him a chance, like I said. But yeah, this, this masculine ego death is what's coming through. He's going to have tower moments. He's going to try to... For those, for those that are in that energy group where he doesn't want to step up and do the work and better himself just in general... Because he owes a lot of people an apology. It's not just this empress. He owes multiple people in his life an apology is what I'm feeling. He really has a lot of... Um... Oh, my ears are ringing right now. Um, he has a lot of work to do on himself. But for those that want to keep trying to escape, like, because I, I, I bet you anything, I bet you, for those that are not taking accountability, I can bet you anything that this fucking masculine right now is probably saying this third party that he just dealt with, very brief, temporary fling, I bet you he's, anything, he's probably saying, oh, she was just dramatic and crazy too. She was just jealous too. These, these women just don't understand me. These women are all just jealous, or these women are all just the same. Misogynistic kind of energy. Mm -mm. He he just he doesn't like that these women can see it through his games. He doesn't like that. But yeah, for for those that are in that energy where it's like almost like delusional, where it's like they really just don't see their role in these connections. He he's gonna keep trying to run. He's gonna keep trying to go to these third parties, and he's gonna be met with tower moments. He's gonna be met with more women like the one he just dealt with. This third party, more rejection, more drama, more chaos, more people calling him on his shit. Ego death, judgment. This is divinely ordered. His spirit guides ordered this. His spirit guides actually ordered this. Strength. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, because if he doesn't have the strength to be loyal, he's never going to have that that happily ever after with anybody. If he can't tame these inner demons, if he can't work on himself, if he can't do the shadow work, if he wants to keep juggling, he's he's not going to, it's not going to lead, he's going to think it's going to lead to happiness. It's not going to, though. Yeah, karmic cycle ending. He's going to be caught up, though. Thinking that these women are Queen of Pentacles type, thinking, oh, like I said, oh, this is this is so much easier than my Empress. This is so much easy, you know. I don't have to do work on myself, so, you know, I just haven't found the one yet. This Empress couldn't possibly be the one. That's too too difficult. I need to go find something easier. I need to go see if the grass is greener on the other side. I need to go find something better. And he's going to be met with these women that are going to look like Queen of Pentacles. They're going to look stable on the outside. They're going to look like they have their shit together. They're going to be glamorous women who just lustful energy here, sexual energy possibly. Boom, the karmic cycle is going to end again and again. He'll keep repeating that cycle with women. Wheel of Fortune. Yep. eventually he's he's gonna have to yeah he's not gonna basically he's not gonna be allowed to distract himself it's almost like he's gonna have more heartbreak and more stress if he tries to distract himself with these women or tries to use these women for an ego boost it, it's gonna it's like there's gonna be like a temporary illusion and then that rug's gonna be swept out right from under him and the karmic cycle is going to end again and he's going to be again left in the dark wondering like what happened what did i what did i do and it's like you're gonna have to look at yourself but I feel like his spirit guides are kind of pushing him to just be alone right now until he, again, until he deals with himself. Yeah, if he wants a Ten of Cups, if he wants victory, he has to work for it. He has to work at it. He has to take account of it. He can't be sneaky anymore. Yeah, he can't be a child anymore. He's got to be a King of Pentacles. If he wants a queen of cups, if he wants true love, whether it's with this empress or just anyone in general, he has to step up. He has to be a real man. He has to work together with people too. He can't. It's almost like he sees these connections as like a game that he has to win where it's like 
him versus the whoever he's with and not them working together as a team. It doesn't make any sense. But if he wants if he wants any kind of love, he has to get on the same page with people. And if he's not working together with someone, he can't expect any of these women to be in Queen of Cups energy. Because some of these women might not even... Like, how do I explain this energy? Because we got the tower and the judgment, so it's almost like he is going to be dealing with, like, these tower moments with these women. He's going to be dealing with drama from them, with, from, with chaos, with glamour spells, with, you know, thinking they're... thinking that they're their entire package and then it's just like it's like ripped away from him you know what I mean it's like he's gonna have to look at himself um he's not gonna be allowed to distract himself with these women basically like I said his life is gonna get harder if he tries to do that he'll distract himself temporarily and then he's gonna be left in an even worse place when that illusion is ripped away from him so it, it's 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 like he he's would it be better for him to deal with himself now rather than later but yeah, if he, it's, what, I, what I want to say too is like, these women are probably not even bad women. Not all of them. Some of them, well, I don't know. The one that I was picking up that was doing glamour and black, possibly black magic, that was kind of a weird energy I was getting. But for some of them, I feel like they're, you know, some of these women actually do have good hearts. Like they are naturally queen of cups, but he puts them in a situation where they have to become a queen of swords, where they can't trust him. So it's it's almost like... If he expects these women to be Queen of Cups, to be gentle, nurturing, motherly, even loving, supportive, he has to work with them. He has to work with them on the same page. Because if he's defensive, if he's acting like a victim and he's pushing them away, taking them for granted, treating them like trash, having this us, me versus them mentality, acting like mind games, acting like these relationships are all just a fucking game to him. Of course, these women that are, you know, naturally queen of cups are going to get defensive and they're they're going to be in a queen of swords energy they're not going to be able to trust him at a certain point he has to really look at that and see why are these women that are normally very loving very empathetic very nurturing why are they going from being a queen of cups to a queen of swords like what is it about this this man's energy that's making these women that would normally be in this queen of cups energy end up having to be defensive or having to be cold like why does there just happen to be all this drama with all these women but yeah if he wants that he's gonna have to really build not not me versus them it's gonna have to be us together against the problem it's not a game we're not trying to win anything it's not you're not trying to one-up somebody it's 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 you know it's us working together as a team that's the only way he's gonna have a woman that's going to be in this queen of cups, this nurturing, loving energy is if he starts getting on the same page. But again, I don't think he's meet, he's not meeting another empress like this anytime soon. Maybe not at all. Honestly, he might not get another chance like this because he broke this woman's heart too much. Like I said, the divine's not going to bring him a gift like this unless he, he would really have to prove himself. He would really have to prove himself and work on himself. And then either, either she'll give him another chance. If he, if he comes forward as an emperor, or if he comes forward with the intention of working on being the emperor, either she'll give him another chance or maybe down the road, he'll have a chance with another empress. But, but only if he's stepping up to be the emperor. If he continues the same shit as before, it's just going to be you know, again, more victim mentality, more why, why won't these women just be in Queen of Cups energy? Why are they, why are they in Queen of Swords energy, not seeing his role in it? Um, again, trying to distract himself with third parties is going to backfire on him really bad. The divine is going to let people rip his heart out. It's, it's almost like this, his spirit guides are almost, it's, it's almost like this empress's spirit guides. We were getting that reading earlier where it's like this empress's spirit guides are pissed. So they'll let him meet these glamorous women where he thinks he's falling in love. And then just like that, they switch up on him. You know, this man has a lot of bad karma to deal with. So it's kind of up to him what he wants to do next. If he wants to continue the same shit and, and keep blaming everybody else and not, not seeing that he's a huge part of the issue here. Or, or does he want to grow a pair? It's, it's up to him, honestly. Last two cards with the king and queen of wands. Does he want to be a power couple or 
does he want to keep being childish? But there's divine justice here either way. Um, anyway, for the third party, for those of you that were dealing with that, yeah, I don't feel like this man is dealing with a third party anymore. I feel like she's already gone. Um, but again, he is trying to distract himself and run right now. So more third parties might come in and they're going to, it's going to be the same shit. They're going to bring more chaos into his life, more drama. They're going to see through him. They're going to, um, it, it's like a cycle. He's just going to, he's going to drive himself crazy. He's going to repeat the same cycle again and again and again. If he chooses to, if he chooses to go down that path. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there.